Welcome back to The Vault. This time around, we're taking a look at something from the Sentimentalism Project by Luca Volpe. I highly recommend it to anybody out there who's looking to add some incredible, thoughtful, close-up kind of mind reading to their act. This uh, mind journey is really cool. It's conversational. Somebody comes up with their, their dream vacation and you've predicted all three elements of that that dream in the fairest, most possible way. Luca mixes some different elements, the props are simple, and it gets an incredible uh, outcome, incredible reactions from people. I can't recommend it highly enough. This is Mind Journey by Luca Volpe. Um, here I have some business card. I'm going to write something in a moment, and uh, we're going to do a journey. You're going to make a journey with your mind. Okay. First, I would like that you think, don't say anything out loud, okay? I would like that you think the name of this person that you would like to take with you in this journey. Don't say anything out loud, just think this person, okay? Just think the name of this person for me. Um, can you also think the age? of this person, okay? Just think his name and his age. Imagine a place, any place in the world, a place that you would like to be. Now, let's try something a little bit different. I would like that you imagine to see yourself in the future. Project yourself in the future. Don't think anything specific, but just imagine to see yourself in the future from now to 10 years, for example. Just keep thinking of, you know, something about your life. Okay, oh, something about it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just not anything specific, but just project yourself in the future, okay? Like also, this piece of paper here, but to put everything here. Let's see what we have here. We have some piece of paper. We're going to open and read all together. Okay. So I ask you to think the name of this person in the beginning, mm -hmm. right? You say Bridie. And the age you say was 22. I wrote something, I got the name, I wrote Bridie, but the age was 23. It's one year off. It's okay. It's okay. One, 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 one year off is okay, but I got, I got the name. Okay. Uh, well, uh, number two, I ask you to imagine to be somewhere. Yeah. And you say Barcelona. Yeah. And I got this. I got, I got Barcelona. That was not bad. It was, it's not bad. It's not bad. Um, now, there's something else here. Um, number three. I ask you to project yourself in the future. Mm -hmm. And I ask, what, what I felt looking at you, mm -hmm. I felt few things. And I wrote something here. I wrote abroad. I have the feeling of something happening in the United States. Then I had a feeling of a star sign, which is Aquarius. Mm -hmm. Now, I don't know if this star sign means anything to you. I am Aquarius, yeah. You are Aquarius? Yeah, yeah. And yeah. you never told me? No, I am Aquarius. Yeah, no, I never told you that. No. <laughs> okay, so you're Aquarius. Uh, is even, anyways, someone close to you that is Aquarius too? My girlfriend is Aquarius. Your girlfriend is Aquarius yeah. too? That, that's good. That's so <laughs> the perfect match then. Yes, perfect match. Well. Uh, I would like that you keep this piece of paper, the oh. number two, which is the most important one. Okay. And I wish you all the best for the future. Thank you. Thank you.